Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out uh, can you upgrade your Telvostro 5501 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course you're gonna see how you can open up this little machine and what's happening inside of it as well. First things first you need to remove a back panel and you need pretty the standard Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna leave a link in description for the similar one or for the same one. They're cheap enough. It comes 57 bits in one, so it's handy for other jobs as well, I suppose. So remove all the screws from the back panel. They come off quite easy. And same with back panel, it does come off quite easy. If you have a tool like I have there, it's gonna be just that much kind of a handier if you don't i don't recommend using anything metal no screwdrivers or anything like that you're just gonna break your laptop or damage it at least so you see yourself back panel comes off easy enough once it's off uh, that's it i'm gonna just show you a bit of a detail on the back panel itself inside of look as well just in case you're looking for a spare part or looking for a back panel to buy you'll you you know how it looks like and this is the look now inside of it we have a bunch of good news here we can upgrade ram we can upgrade solid state drive this is the battery of course in a minute uh, we're gonna have a closer look on components as well so you're gonna see how they look like as well these are memory slots, that's uh, RAM slot number one, of course. Max you can install in it is 16 gigs in one. And the second one, of course, and same thing here, 16 gigs max. So in total, this laptop can have uh, 32 gigs of RAM. So that's a good news. And that's what we're going to do later. We're going to upgrade that to 32 gigs in total. That's your CPU under that and CPU fan, of course, as well. That's your Wi-Fi card. And that's your solid state drive. At the moment, there's 256 gigs in it. We're going to upgrade that as well to one terabyte. So it's going to be quite cool, actually, in, in total. Okay, we're gonna have a closer look now and you're gonna see what's happening there. That's your battery again. They're good enough batteries. That's your battery connection. That's your RAM slots, of course. That's your CPU, Wi-Fi card. Closer look again, if you're looking for a spare part. That's your solid state drive, 256 gigs as you see. And actually this laptop has two uh, SSD slots. I forgot actually to show you the second one. I will show you later on in the end of the video. So you, you have actually options to install two drives on this laptop, which is great news. Okay, we're gonna remove the RAM now. I do recommend disconnecting battery before you're gonna upgrade anything, but I didn't do it here, so... That's your RAM number one at the moment, it's 8 gigs. DDR4, of course. I don't think I have same speed of RAM, so I'm gonna install... a bit of a lower speed, but still it's gonna be 32 gigs. I'm gonna leave the links in the description for faster RAM so you can purchase. It will work on it, I just didn't have a faster RAM. Okay, 16 gigs will go in. That's one RAM upgraded and that's the second one now. Okay, there it goes. And RAM upgrading is done, that's 32 gigs. Okay, that's your solid state drive now, it's a smaller factor. We're gonna install a bit of a longer one, proper one, I suppose. Well, it's not a proper one, but just a kind of a normal size SSD. That's what's in it now. And you don't have to upgrade 
to what I am doing there. You can put 512 gigs in it, whatever really you want. Like I, I have one terabyte drive there, so I'm going to upgrade to that. This drive came with the 60 or $70 price, so they're not too dear. Same thing, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can find it yourself. And that's Samsung 970 EVO Plus, one terabyte, as I said before. And to install that, you need to remove that little uh, kind of a clip, clippy thingy there to put that in the other position for longer drives. I think I messed up with this one now to install it first, so it will go other way around. So you'll see in a minute. That's the first time I actually did that now for this type of uh, kind of setup. So do excuse me. Okay, you'll see that now. It just doesn't reach. <laughs> okay, so this metal thing will have to come out and will have to go another way around. So it's a good way to learn, I suppose. Learn from my mistakes, not for it, from your own. And at the end of the video, we're gonna put into Windows as well. So you're gonna see the actual specs of this laptop. So I'm not fooling you here. It will work with 32 gigs and uh, you're gonna see other specs as well. This laptop has uh, i5, Intel i5 uh, 10th gener generation CPU on it. So pretty good. As for build quality, I can't say they're the best ones, but uh, it's good enough, I suppose. A bit of a struggle there. There's a this cable is just there, kind of a, on the way. So when you're pushing them in, don't damage them. It's easy enough to damage, believe me. And the second drive, actually, you can see it on the, on the right hand side beside the speaker. There's a slot for it. In a minute, I'm going to show you exactly where it goes. So if you want to upgrade that as well or add extra drive. There we go. Upgrading done. And that's your second slot now. I missed that at the start. So sorry about that. But better late than never, I suppose. So that's your second slot. If you want to upgrade that as well or add extra additional drive, it's great. And all we have to do now is put the back panel back. And of course, when you changing your drive, you have to reinstall Windows, no question there. It's gonna take you half an hour. I put Windows 11 on this laptop, so good, runs very, very well. And same thing as you did before, just put the screws back in, make sure back panel is nicely pushed in. Once the screws are back in, we're gonna boot into Windows and you're gonna see the specs as I promised earlier. Okay, we're in Windows, uh, obviously reinstalled Windows, new installation. And we go this PC, right click on it, go to properties and you're gonna see here, there you go, it's Vostro 15, 5501, 32 gigs of RAM, i5-103 5G1. And as I said, you can install faster RAM on it, 32 gigs of course as well, but just faster. We're gonna go to device manager now as well in a second. You can see the drive is there, one terabyte. It does not show up, up as one terabyte, obviously. Uh, we go to device manager now and you'll see the specs as well. Hope this video now was helpful. Uh, I messed up a little bit there, sorry about that. Either way, hope it helps. Um, if it does, Press the thumbs up, of course, and subscribe as well. Thank you very much and have a good life. Bye bye.